Good morning and welcome to our time of prayer. Come Holy God, come loving source of our life, come healing light. Come healing light, source of our life, come healing light. Great and merciful God, your life is the source of the whole world's life. Your mercy is our only hope. Your eyes watch over all your creatures. You know the secrets of our hearts. By your life-giving Spirit, draw us into your presence, that we may worship in the true life of your Spirit, with lives moved by your love, through him who has led us to your heart of love, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord of all, creator and source of all life, you rule in strength and steadfast love over all the earth. Your glory shines through the lives and traditions of all people. Your love does not change. The power and the glory are yours forever. The destiny of every nation is in your hands. The achievements of great empires and their leaders will come to an end. But you are worshipped in every age, by every generation, in every land. Your love does not change. The power and the glory are yours forever. In Christ's death and resurrection, you demonstrated the power of your kingdom to overcome evil. You move ahead of us, using forces and movements in the world, bringing reconciliation and healing. In you the powerless and weak find strength and courage. Your love does not change. The power and the glory are yours forever. We praise you for every sign of your power to save, the experience of the heart strangely warmed, for the change you have begun within us through your Spirit, who leads us to repent and draws us closer together in the community of Christ's body. Your love does not change. The power and the glory are yours forever. Amen. Lord, you give to us brother, sister, parent, child, friend, colleague, partner. You offer the possibility of rich, loving relationships, but we take one another for granted. We abuse and do not respect each other as we should. Father, forgive us and help us to be more aware of your way. Lord, you offer us a new way of living, a supreme example to follow. But we are easily attracted by material things and lose sight of our goal. Father, forgive us and help us to be more aware of your way. Lord, you share with us all that you have, yet we are reluctant to give you our all, because it is costly and painful. Your hands are open and ours are so often closed. Father, forgive us, and help us to be more aware of your way. Let us hear the words of assurance. Our sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. You wait for us until we are open to you. We wait for your word to make us receptive. Attune us to your voice, to your silence. Speak and bring your Son to us. Jesus the word of your peace. Amen. Psalm 70 Save me, Lord God. Hurry and help. Disappoint and confuse all who want to kill me. 
turn away and disgrace all who want to hurt me, embarrass and shame those who say, We told you so. Let your worshippers celebrate and be glad because of you. They love your saving power, so let them always say, God is wonderful. I am poor and needy, but you, the Lord God, care about me. You are the one who saves me. Please hurry and help. The Gospel according to John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 16. That evening Jesus' disciples went down to the lake. They got into a boat and started across for Capernaum. Later that evening Jesus had still not come to them, and a strong wind was making the water rough. When the disciples rowed for three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the water. He kept coming closer to the boat, and they were terrified. But he said, I am Jesus, don't be afraid. The disciples wanted to take him into the boat, but suddenly the boat reached the shore where they were headed. The people who had stayed on the east side of the lake knew that only one boat had been there. They also knew that Jesus had not left in it with his disciples. But the next day some boats from Tiberias sailed near the place where the crowd had eaten the bread, for which the Lord had given thanks. They saw that Jesus and his disciples had left. Then they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to look for Jesus. They found him on the west side of the lake and asked, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you are not looking for me because you saw the miracles, but because you ate all the food you wanted. Don't work for food that spoils. Work for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food, because God the Father has given him the right to do so. What exactly does God want us to do? the people asked. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. Let us offer our prayer with all God's people, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who ever lives to pray for us. We pray for the witness of the Church this week, particularly in places where the Christian faith is ignored and forgotten. We pray for those who carry major responsibilities as Church leaders and are always expected to know what to say and do, whatever the situation. Give them compassion, wisdom and the mind of Christ. Lord, strengthen our new President, the Reverend Richard Tail, and our new Vice President, Caroline Lawrence, and all your Church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Christians working in places of power and influence, who make decisions which may affect many people. We pray for Christians in politics, in the media, in advertising and the financial markets, that they may know how to act and what to say in order to be true to Christ. We pray too that we may examine our own power over others at home or at work and use it responsibly by offering it to the one who laid aside his power and took the form of a servant. Give wisdom to all in authority, and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those whom we love, the special people you have given to us, wherever they may be, however it is long it is that we've seen them. We pray for our friends, the close ones, and those we sometimes forget, 
those with a special problem and those who need you. We thank you for each of them and what they give to us. Keep us faithful to them as you are faithful to us. Give grace to us, to our families and friends and to all our neighbours in these difficult times, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those for whom this day will seem long and hard, especially for those working in the NHS and in care homes, for those who are ill in hospital or at home, those struggling with despair or depression, those waiting for a job or important news, or just a friend to call. We pray particularly for those for whom this day will be their last. We name in our hearts any people we know who are in special need. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember with deep gratitude those who have left their mark on our lives by giving us love and laughter, but have now gone before us to be with Christ. We hold them in our hearts, knowing that you, Lord, hold them in yours. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ, according to your promises. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. God of compassion and mercy, listen to our prayer. May what we ask in Jesus Christ, your Son, be done according to his word who said, Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. To you, merciful God, through your Son, in the life-giving Spirit, be glory and praise for ever. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May faith in God uphold you. May the hope of God overarch you. May the love of God surround you. Light of the world, through our tears of sorrow, our tears of joy, our shared tears, we see refracted the many colours of your creation, the mingled colours of your promise, light of the world. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you, through the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>